Hi, and thank you for joining us at Nelly Security today. I'm going to show you how to add a Nelly Security NVR and a Nelly Security IP camera to the IBM S4200 client software on a Windows machine. We're going to start off by opening up IBM S4200. Now that IVMS4200 is open, we are going to go to Device Management and add your NVR and camera to the software. Here it says Device Management is where your devices will show up once you've added them successfully to the software. Below that says Online Devices. Those are all the devices that are connected to your network and they will show up here. The first thing I want to show you how to add is going to be the Nelly Security NVR. You're going to find the IP address or the device type of the MVR, click on that, then add to client. In the nickname field, you can place whatever name you like on there. And below that shows you the IP address of the MVR. Username and password is going to be the username and password you use to log into the MVR. Once you type that in, click Add, and on the bottom right, it will tell you Import Succeeded. Another way to check and see if it was added correctly, you will go to Net Status. If it is a green globe, that means it was added correctly. If it's red, it means that something was entered incorrectly. Now I'm going to show you how to add an IP camera to the software. Again, you're going to either look for the IP address or the device type. Click on that and then click Add to Client. In the nickname field, you can go ahead and place anything you'd like. Below that, it shows you the IP address of the camera, and you will need the username and password that is used for the camera. If it is different from the NVR, go ahead and delete the password and username that they have in there. Enter in the correct username and password and click Add. Import Succeeded will show up in the bottom right. And again, you can check the net status to see if it is successfully added. Now I'm going to show you how to view your cameras on IVM S4200. You're going to go to Control Panel, then Main View. You're going to see a four panel view in IVM S4200. That is where you're going to see your cameras. Here in the bottom right, you can see the Nelly Security NVR has been added. And now we're just dragging and dropping the cameras inside the boxes. And you scroll down the camera section and towards the bottom is going to be the camera that you've added as well. I'm going to select that in there. Right now in live view, you are viewing all four cameras in mainstream. You do have the option to view the cameras in substream, which would be a lot better while I'm viewing your cameras in IVMS 4200. Mainstream will give you a higher resolution in camera and a better quality, but it does take up more bandwidth. And you can see here that there's actually a little bit of lag in time. Also, when using an IVMS 4200, it's taking up a lot of CP usage, which can make your computer run a lot slower and could cause a lot of pausing. I'm going to show you how to add Substream. Substream will give you a little bit less video quality, but you're not going to have a lot of lag and you're not going to have CPU usage being used up so much. So to go to Substream, you're going to go to Control Panel, System Configuration, and then image. Auto change substream type will automatically be checked when you first open that up. Make sure you uncheck auto change stream type and that way you can enable substream. Click save. Then go back to your main menu. Now I'm going to show you how to switch your cameras from mainstream to substream. You're going to click the camera's live view and then on the bottom left select that camera by right clicking 
and click Substream. And you'll do that with all the other cameras. Select the camera, right click, and then Substream. Now it says at the bottom, save and complete, get the stream again to take effect. So that means that we are going to have to stop live view on the main stream. In the bottom left is a stop button. And then now you're just going to drag and drop the cameras back into the squares. Now you're viewing your cameras in Substream. As you can tell, the video quality did go down, but your CPU usage went down as well, so now you're not going to have so much lag. And if you take a look at the time, the time is keeping up, and there's no lagging in videos, no pausing. It's actually keeping a steady quality going on. Now I'm going to show you how to switch the videos back to mainstream. The same thing, you're going to click the live view, go to the bottom left, right click, and select mainstream. We're going to do that with all the other cameras as well. Mainstream. And click the camera, right click, mainstream, and last one. Again, you're going to have to stop the live view and click the stop button, and then drag and drop your cameras into the squares again. And now you're viewing your cameras back in mainstream again. As you can see, the um, CPU usage did go up some more. And that concludes our video on how to add a Nelly Security NVR and a Nelly Security IP camera to the IVMS 4200. Thank you.